He's been a passionate and compelling voice for the change. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome on stage Massimo Bottura. All right, I'm wearing the, the T-shirt, Future, with, with the Greek uh, character to understand and to make you understand that there is no future without thinking about our past. Making a recipe is an intellectual act. Every day we get into our kitchens with dot. We, we, we ask ourselves uh, questions all the time. This is essential for us to learn, understand, and embrace uh, the knowledge of the world with mind and eyes wide open. Over the past 30 years, I have come to imagine Osteria Francescana as a Renaissance atelier, La Bottega Rinascimentale. These ateliers once were the places where apprentices could learn not only technique, but also a signature mark from, from the master. They came to learn a school of thought. Today, young men and women full of energy and dreams come from all over the world to learn from our restaurants. Our Bottega Rinascimentali are a laboratory of ideas in which we, we produce culture, we provide education, promote tourism, and amplify our social impact. These are places where we squeeze our passion into edible bites. But knowledge doesn't only come from external influences, but also comes from within the restaurant. It comes from the team. Sharing a vision with passionate professionist means sharing the same dream. It takes consciousness to understand what we all reached so far and how we have reached it. Only then we are able to share what we have accumulated in years of experience, sacrifice and hard work. And in the same place where we produce culture, promote agriculture, empower tourism, offer education, there we have also found the enormous potential to make change. How? Beginning with the Expo 2015 team, Feed the Planet, we have created refectorios in Milan, Rio de Janeiro, Modena, Bologna, and now in London. Is this charity? No. This is a cultural project. First, our goal is to fight waste. Many ingredients that are thrown away are just ordinary ingredients. Second, to teach the real heroes of this project, the volunteers, how to transform unwanted ingredients into healthy and delicious meals. Third, to feed those in need, not only with food, but with beauty. Feed their bodies and their souls. Make them feel welcome. Create inclusive places to improve communities. In a moment in which the world is building walls, we are breaking walls. Visiting the Museum of Tomorrow in Rio de Janeiro last August, I saw the statistic for 2050. In 2014, there were 860 million people undernourished. In 2050, the predictions are that 400 million people will be undernourished. We are the revolution. We are part of the solution. And the future? There will be chefs 
who knows more about soil, and farmer who knows more about taste. What about a university where chef and farmers, food activists, economists can learn together, respect each other, and work for make change? 31 years ago, when I began cooking, I would never imagine that a chef could be a voice of change. We all have a voice. We can all speak up, more importantly, we can all act. But the voice of change belongs to everyone. It can be from an engineer, a banker, an artist, a farmer, a journalist, you know, a grandmother, or even a restaurant award. The more we are, the louder we will be. We can all make visible the invisible. Not everyone can be a truffle. Most of us are potatoes, but a potato is a very good thing to be, like me. Thank you very much.